to an incredible conversation that you will see only on six. Anchor Christina Watkins spoke to three of the New Orleans four that desegregated schools in the Deep South. Yeah, they weigh in on the continued fight for equality and what's changed in the last 60 years. No justice! No peace! Messages heard all around the world. Shouts of Black Lives Matter. People in the streets fighting for equality. Shoot. And for these three civil rights icons, it's a fight they know all too well. America saw what we have been seeing for a long time. The oh. world saw what we have been seeing for a long time. It just seems like the things you used to see on TV in the 60s, you know, police beating up on people and, you know, riots everywhere. On November 14th, 1960, Leona Tate, Gail Atien, and Tessie Prevost, now known as the McDonough Three, pulled up to McDonough 19 on St. Claude Avenue. Also that day, Ruby Bridges did the same, but at William France School on Galvez, all of whom, just little girls, greeted with so much hate because they were the first black people to integrate white-only public elementary schools in the Deep South. One would hope a lot changed throughout 60 years, but the McDonough Three said it really hasn't. We should be further along than what we are right now. It seems like it's just as bad as it was then, if not worse. I really want to say I'm sorry because this should have been taken care of 60 years ago. It's been 60 years that we walked into those school buildings. The McDonough Three said they understand the frustration and they too hope changes will come soon. So they encourage young people to continue fighting for laws to change, have those difficult conversations, and most importantly, they said, vote. That's the loudest voice you could possibly have is your vote. And that's what we need to encourage them to do, to get together, to organize, to vote. Christina Watkins, WDSU News. And earlier this year, the McDonough Three broke ground on their new project. They're turning the former McDonough 19 building into the TEP Center. It's going to serve many purposes, but the main goal is to teach people the history of civil rights here in New Orleans. It's expected to open next spring.